What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is my Neobot self-emptying robotic vacuum cleaner that I had for the last two years. It works terrific until recently when it started, you know, bumping into walls more often and not docking properly or coming out of the dock properly and it's getting stuck quite often. And so we're going to try to diagnose it, find out what's wrong with it and try to fix it. Hopefully this video helps you out and if it does, give me a thumbs up. All right, so when I turn on the vacuum, you know, it should properly come out of the dock. Oh, and now it's working, figures. But we're going to see why it's acting drunk. It should be going straight out of the dock, but it's not. It just acts funny. Yeah, see? And then we're gonna spin it over, and as you can see, something looks different. So what do you think it is, based off of just looking at it? Yep, it's the wheel. This wheel has a spring, and they have this so it can climb up on rugs easier. And there's no spring on this one. This one just, it's broken. So we're going to try to fix that. Another common thing is um, this often gets tangled up in hair. So you have to pop this off and remove the hair. Or sometimes you got to remove this brush altogether and replace them. So there are parts available, Neobot, you know, website. Or you can actually even go to Amazon. And this is all serviceable right here. So sometimes you might have to replace the brushes and the roller. And that comes in a service kit and actually fixes it. And sometimes this wheel gets stuck and you have to pop it out using a flathead screwdriver and remove all the pet hair. So let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, so remove all this first. Remove all the brushes first. Yeah, sometimes you have to remove these right here on the side. Should be able to pop off. So this removes that and you get all the hair off that you know like that so it's important to you know maintain these brushes actually remove this but be careful not to hurt yourself there you go there we go so you'll be able to remove all that hair. And you can look for a hair underneath here too as well. Go ahead and clean it with alcohol. And not saying that these vacuums don't last a long time. They do. You know, two, three years is a good time, you know. But eventually, you're going to have to buy a battery or buy these brushes or, you know, the, the small brushes or the main brush or the wheels and parts. You know, it's just normal wear and tear. And it's nice to know that I could depend on Neobot to give me these parts. There we go. Remove the battery, it's pretty easy. Go ahead and remove all this pet hair. Jeez, pet hair gets everywhere. And so if you ever want to replace the battery, which you might have to do every five years, this is the battery that you need to replace. So I need to remove this. There we go. Oh, wow. This comes out like a whole piece. Interesting. It's attached to a motor. 
So this would be like actually fairly easy to service because it comes in like this one whole piece mechanism and just a simple plug and play kind of deal. Detach that right there and you go order this part. So, and this is the left wheel. So how does it attach? Oh, it broke. Right here, it's broken. So how are we gonna reattach that though? That's the problem. I could put a screw through there and that might work. Let's try that. That might work. Now we gotta attach this. I can actually remove this first. There we go. And then now we can just uh, set it into place. There we go. Oh yeah, that actually works. And I didn't have to order the wheel, but if I did have to order the wheel, Neobot has a good service department, and I usually get the parts within two weeks. Here we go. Make sure you use a low torque drill because you you know, these, these screws go into plastic. You can easily strip them out. There we go. I have to hold it down. So far, so good. The scanning, this has built-in mapping. That's why it's going around in circles like that. But before it was bumping into things and not docking. So it looks like it's, yep, yeah, it's not bumping into anything. It's scanning and it's mapping out the room properly. Guys, if you found this video informative and useful, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more tech videos like this coming your way, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. If you're interested where to get these service parts, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks guys for watching.